I swear we're not late. I checked the forecast. It's definitely not before the end of next week. Lots of you have upcoming money games, so here's a little light update for week five of the Injustice League 2022. That's right, it's all injustice all the time. 2022 is a hell of a season, and we are all going to lump forward together. Let's get to it. Victory! All right, first up, I'd just like to say, uh, I was going to throw the game. I swear. I even started a uh, tight end who didn't have a, an entire game. He was out. But what can you do? Sorry, Irving. Sometimes the better man still wins. <laughs> Next up, we have a battle of titans. In a match where Mateo would have wiped the floor with every other player he had to play, Steve brought his A-game to the table. Just two points shy of a C-note, Steve edged out of Mateo. What happens when an immovable object meets an unstoppable force? Two undefeated warriors go in, and who walks out? Was it girl power or reign of terror? That's right, Jonathan walks away the victor over Maggie. Feels like any time Starlight has to fight Homelander. Greggy G walks into a bar. I forgot the punchline but he crushes a can of Foster's. This was a travesty. Bruv, what happened, Jared? You've had the highest of highs, but this week, Darren didn't need to put up these numbers, but he did. This was a two-for-one Slaughterhouse Five. Here's another one, here's another two for you. I actually don't know who I feel worse for. The other guy who had a lot of players who were inactive and hurt, or here, all of Simon's players, who just sucked. Tim T keeps his win streak going. The number one contender keeps it going with a near double up win. Finally, this one feels sad. But should it? It's not like Kevin is the only one without a win. Either way, Judge Judy should look into some health insurance because the Bears soldier on and Chris knocks the brewmaster down and leaves him bleeding on the side of the road. Was that too close to home? Thank you, everyone, for your lovely audience. I've been Brendan, your president and master of ceremonies, the man who wrote the mega blockbuster Moonfall, but sold the rights for 40 bucks and a ham sandwich. Coming to you now on Rotoscope, saying until next time, this has been Injustice for you. Oh.